Okay, so what happens to a condo after 50 years? So this is uh, our question for this video. A lot of people, um, or I have found, you know, in, in many forums and social media, there's a lot of concern about what happens to a condo after 50 years, right? Uh, some people have the idea that a, they will lose ownership of a condo after 50 years. Okay. Some people also believe that after 50 years, the value of the condominium is already zero. So that makes it worthless as an investment, as a long-term investment. So we're going to explore um, all of these ideas or myths you know, in this video. Okay, so again, I'm Ronald Kagape. I'm your uh, deal-making coach, and I'm here to help you uh, understand you know, these quest this question. So to answer that question, there are actually you know, four parts you know, to that question. First is the land of the condominium building. So any condominium development has uh, has a land component. Diba nakatayo yan? Nakatayo yan sa isang uh, portion ng lupa. So, kailangan malaman ninyo as uh, either co uh, condominium buyer or condominium owner kung uh, sino ang may-ari ng lupa. Okay? Most of the time, lalo na kapag mayroon kang CCT or Condominium Certificate of Title, um, ikaw or kayong lahat ng mga condominium owners ay merong partial na share o partial na pag-aari sa lupa. Okay? So, hindi mawawala yung ownership ng, ng unit or ng lupa sa inyo after 50 years. Okay? Kasi yung Condominium Corporation, uh, siya yung nagmamay-ari nung lupa. Ngayon, sa totoo rin naman na merong mga condominium buildings na hindi sila ang may-ari na lupa. They are leasing, you know, they're leasing the property, they're leasing the land, or inuupahan lang nila yung land. So, pagkatapos nung rent na yun, uh, usually it's either 75 years or 99 years, babalik yung ownership ng, uh, ng lupa dun sa landowner. So, totoo na pwedeng mangyari sa inyo na mawala yung ownership. Pero, mangyayari lang yan kung ang agreement nyo is or kung ang pinangahawakan mo ay leasehold. Okay, leasehold. Hindi condominium certificate of title or hindi perpetual ownership. So, again, kung ikaw ay uh, merong uh, condominium certificate of title, ibig sabihin you have perpetual ownership. Okay, hanggat nakatayo yung building, hanggat uh, existing yung condominium corporation, kayo ang may-ari ng building. Okay, pero kung leasehold lang ang agreement ng condominium corporation dun sa landowner, so ibig sabihin hindi kayo ang total na may-ari ng lupa at after 75 years or after 99 years, depende sa ano yan eh, depende dun sa term ng leasehold, babalik ang ownership ng lupa at ng buong condominium building dun sa landowner. Okay, so, yan yung first part. So, just make sure na uh, ang pinagbibilhan nyo is kung ba kung developer yan, just make sure na yung developer ang may-ari ng lupa at ang binibenta niya ay perpetual ownership. Okay. Next, uh, ang next part dito sa question na to, yung what happens after 50 years is yung building lifespan. So, a lot of uh, people are concerned kung 50 years lang ba ang lifespan ng isang building. Ibig sabihin, after 50 years, ano ba yan? I-demolish ba yan? Or wala na ba yung value? Uh, or talaga, yeah, yun nga, hindi na siya livable. Okay? So, obviously, um, iba-ibang building, depende sa, ano yan, eh, sa method of construction, depende sa maintenance, uh, pero iba-ibang building mag iba, iba yung magiging condition niya after 50 years. Okay. Posible na mayroong mga building na after 50 years hindi na siya livable, lalo na kung hindi siya na-maintain ng maayos. So, at that point, um, po pwedeng kailangan na ito yung i-demolish or kailangan siyang i-renovate, i-repair or i-renovate. In either case, so halimbawa kung doon tayo sa unang situation na kailangan i-demolish yung building. So, ito ay kailangan pagbotohan pa 
ng lahat ng mga membro ng condominium corporation. Okay, kailangan lahat kayo mag-agree na, or hindi naman lahat, majority. Kailangan majority ay mag-agree na i-renovate. Okay? Uh, kapa, dahil pag hindi nag-agree na i-renovate, ibig sabihin, i-demolish yung building. Okay? So, kung ngayon, kung sakali naman na i-demolish ang building, so nasa sa inyo kung gusto nyo na magpatayo ng bago, or ibenta na lamang yung lupa sa isang developer. At kapag binenta nyo yung lupa sa isang developer, kayo ay magkakaroon ng compensation. Okay, so, meron sa inyong babalik na uh, money o pera. So, hindi totally na magiging zero yung investment ninyo. Okay? Alright, next. Um, so, yung unang part is yung pag-demolish. Paano naman kung i-renovate? Diba? So, po, pwede yun. Pwede na kayo mag-decide na i-renovate. Of course, uh, kayo yung gagastos nun as a as owners, uh, magkailangan ninyo mag-invest pan ng panibagong, uh, panibagong pera para ipa-renovate yung buong building. Pinturahan, ayusin, uh, pagandahin. Okay? So, hindi naman mawawala sa inyo yung building. At ang maganda niyan, hindi nyo na kailangan gumastos ng pagpapatayo. So, mas konti na lang yung idadagdag nyo. Kumbaga, and dun sa 50 years na yon. Uh, ang objective naman yun, or ang hope naman dyan is nabawi nyo na kung ano man yung binayad nyo before nabayad nyo na from the appreciation or nabawi nyo na from the rentals uh, dun sa property okay so again, dalawang option pwede nyo, pwede i-demolish yung building after 50 years nasa, nasa decision niya ng condominium corporation pwede siya i-demolish at patayuan ng bago pwede siya demolish at ibenta uh, at pwede rin siya na i-renovate. Okay? Ang uh, susunod na so na sagot na natin yung land, yung issue sa land, pangalawa is yung lifespan ng building, pangatlo is yung value ng building. Medyo na touch na natin ng konti, no? Uh, sinabi natin na yung value ng building is hindi yan nagiging zero. Okay? Dahil merong structure eh. Uh, habang may nakatira dyan, uh, hindi yan nagiging zero. Meron yung parang natawag ng minimum uh, value or scrap value. Kumbaga. At kung isipin niyo ano, uh, medyo ang Pilipinas, uh, may, wala pa tayong, uh, I would say, na wala pa tayong mga buildings or skyscrapers siguro na more than 50 years old. Okay. Ang alam kong isa sa pinakamatandang building, uh, isang pin pinakamatandang condominium building in the Philippines is yung nasa Manila, yung Legazpi. Uh, Legazpi Tower, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, that was built in the 1970s, 1976. So, mga nasa 30 years old pa lang siya. At kung makikita nyo, kung mabibisita nyo yung uh, building na yon, it's still livable. Maayos pa naman yung condition niya. So, tingnan natin sa ibang bansa, like sa US. Sa US, marami ng mga buildings sa more than 100 years old. Dahil mas, uh, siguro mas advanced yung teknolohiya nila o mas uh, makikita natin na kahit 100 years old na or more than 50 years old na yung mga buildings, livable pa rin. So, kung magka sa maintenance yan, merong mga, merong mga apartment buildings na hindi na siya livable dahil nga napabayaan na. Pero as long as may maintain uh, ng mga owners, ang value ng building is hindi nagiging zero automatically pagdating ng 50 years. Okay? So, hindi kayo kailangan mabahala. Okay. Ang last part is yung uh, corporation, yung condominium corporation. Uh, ang mga owners kasi ng condominium is magkakasama, meron kayo lahat share dun sa condominium corporation. At yung condominium corporation ang may-ari ng lupa. Okay, so bawat isa sa inyo, meron kayong share at part owner kayo ng condominium corporation. Yun, according sa ating co condominium or corporation uh, act uh, ng Pilipinas, uh, ang corp lifespan ng isang corporation is 50 years. Okay, so after 50 years, kailangan bumoto ang mga owners kung itutuloy yung buhay ng corporation or kung uh, ididissolve na siya. Okay, ngayon, hanggat na dyan kayo, huwag hanggat nakatira kayo dyan, obviously, I think, no-brainer naman yun na itutuloy nyo yung pagboto dun sa uh, corporation lifespan. So, hindi mawawala yung uh, corporation na yan. At kung sakali naman na i-dissolve yan, um, ang mangyayari naman yan is pag-iisipan pag nyo ngayon kung paano nyo i-dispose. 
Okay, kung hindi nyo na, ayaw nyo na ituloy yung corporation, syempre, pa, ang next dyan is, pa, paano i-dispose ang property? Ibibenta ba ito? Uh, kasi hindi nyo na pwedeng ituloy dahil wala na kayong corporation. So, usually, uh, ang next na logical result dyan is ibenta yung property. At kapag binenta, meron pa rin kayong matatanggap dahil existing yung property at meron lupa yung corporation. Alright, so I hope uh, nasagot nito ang inyong mga concern, hindi mawawala uh, ang inyong condominium, ang inyong condo after 50 years, hindi yan magiging zero ang value. As long as uh, ang ownership ninyo is yung in perpetuity or meron kayong CCT at as long as active kayo dun sa condominium corporation, yan, iboto nyo na ituloy lang uh, yung, et, kung maga hindi mawawala ang investment niyo hindi masasayang ang investment niyo okay so if you have any questions tungkol sa issue na to just let me know sa comment section below uh, you know wag kayong matakot sa pag-invest sa real estate or sa condominium uh, ilagay niyo lang kung maga basta pag-aralan niyo lang uh, wag lang kayong basta magtitiwala kayo magtanong kayo magsuri kayo at yung mga videos na to na ginagawa natin is to help you, you know, be able to make deals so that you can grow rich. Okay, so if you like this video, I hope you like the video, um, share it to your friends, and, you know, subscribe to the Dealmaker channel to get more real estate tips. Okay, and I hope you will also consider my book, No Money Down Formula in Real Estate. Um, you learn how to buy and sell properties with little or no money down. So you can order that book at www.nomoneydownformula.com. So again, this is Ronald Kagape, your deal-making coach, encouraging you to make deals and grow rich.